Uh, I'm going to explain a little bit of what we're doing here with our war bonnet climb cycle, which is a, mostly a strength uh, cycle, also some power that we're building in here, uh, and doing some more capacity as well. So, uh, one of the progressions that we're doing is what I call ABC work. Um, and we're doing it on our tech board. You've probably seen me describe or uh, seen the videos of me kind of talking through it, talking about how we have hold patterns that I'm having our athletes do based on uh, a certain category. Um, so there are three categories for the ABC work, A, B, and C. Um, an A climber is somebody who on the pinch assessment did seven or fewer moves. A B climber is somebody who on the assessment did um, eight to 14 moves. And then a C climber is somebody who did 15 or more moves on the pinch test, just on the pinch test of the assessment that we did at the beginning of the cycle. Uh, so if we were to take a B climber, somebody who did eight to 14, week one, a B climber is going to have a whole pattern A, A, B. So uh, they're going to touch two, pull on two A holds, and then they're going to pull on a B hold. And then A, A, B, A, A, B. So they're always moving A, A to a B. Back to an A, to an A, to a B. And so on. The next week, week two, during the A, B, C work circuits, they're going to go A, B, B. So now their pattern changes, it gets harder. Next week, it gets even harder. I take away their bailout hold. So they've got to be all on their category of hold Bs. And then I give them a bailout hold here on the fourth week, where we are right now, but they've got a C now. So they've got a hold above their category. Next week, it'll be B, B, C, continue to get harder, and then we'll finish up with B, C, C. So each week, these are going to get progressively harder. You're not going to have to do the you're not going to have to do the circuit, you're not going to have to do this hold pattern for a longer period of time, it's always one minute and you're always going to get one minute of rest. But the holds that I'm going to uh, force you to grab onto are going to continuously get harder as we move through it. And what I expect is that the first time you go to a BBB or maybe ABC this week, you probably aren't going to be able to make it. But that next time you do it, you'll, be, you'll still be able to do it. I always want my progression to be, to feel like it's just a step ahead of where you have adapted. Um, and this is this is what we're using here. This is an explanation of the progressions that we're using here in an example for the tech board ABC work. These guys in here are working nine rounds of rapid movement and then uh, for 15 seconds and then holding for 15 seconds. You see Ty shaking here. Uh, we, we used to progress uh, the whole part of this where you couldn't shake and you know for this cycle I kind of got away from that because the idea here is that I want you to be able to move as much as you possibly can whenever you're actually doing the the movement interval. If you get a better rest through shaking, then that means that you're going to be able to repeat a stronger effort whenever you're moving, and, and that's the idea. So rather than have you just hold and, and not really be able to get a full rest <clears throat> during that 15 second hold period, I'd rather have you shake so that you can move as much as you can. So we got our climbers here working their ABC work. Yeah. Olivia here is our A category climber, so she's doing AAC. Davis C, so he's doing BBC. That's his hold pattern. So he's got to grab two Bs, then a C. They're off. You off? Yep. Nice, good. In this next video, I'll explain uh, how this progression works over here on this table. So we got our climbers here working on our little short work cap. Take around three minutes. It's 50 air squats. See how these guys are going all the way down? Deep full, full squat. And then they're coming all the way until their hips are fully extended or straight at the top. Right into 25 in place lunges, 25 each leg, that's 50 total. Touch your back knee to the ground, only step forward. After your lunges, you're gonna go right into 20 push-ups. Chest all the way to the ground. I don't care if you have to put your knees on the ground, you gotta get your chest all the way to the ground. Come on, Olivia! Right after 20 push-ups, 10 pull-ups. Uh, if you can't do a pull-up, just do 10 negatives. And just take you longer. You can also use bands. If you want to do it in assisted pull-up, that'll work too. Strict, just like you see Andy doing. These guys are kind of protecting their elbows a little bit, not coming all the way down. That's fine too. You're putting a lot of tension on your elbows. If coming to straight, you feel like you're going to put your elbows in jeopardy, just don't do it. It's not worth it. Another and then up. right to 50 air squats, yep. And then after you're done with your 10 pull-ups, you're going to do 50 air squats again. 
And he's got a good example here, all the way down, nice full squat, knees or butts below his, the level of his knees, coming all the way up, hips at the top. You see how he's bringing his hands together and uh, locking his arms out there at the, uh, at the top of the movement. So he bends his arms, locks them out. Bends his arm, locks them out. That's a good way to just kind of pace, um, pace the squat. But it's also a good way to ensure that your hips are coming all the way up. You won't really get to that full arm lockout position if your hips are back.